Health. So David, here we go. David Ignatius, um, just last week, the, uh, the Trump administration sounded like it was going to follow the Obama administration's position, which was to essentially uh, yield Syria and the people of Syria to the fate of Assad and Putin. Uh, Donald Trump appeared over this past week to be mugged by reality, as the old saying goes. I think he found the consequences of embracing Assad, which is in effect what he did, just too horrifying. I, I thought the president was sincere in mm -hmm. saying, looking at those photographs of the little children choking to death uh, as they died uh, was, was abhorrent. Uh, and I think he said, frankly, I changed my mind. I, I didn't think that I would embrace this policy, but I did. So it's now fallen to Donald Trump to enforce the red line that was first enunciated by President Obama, but that he did not follow through on. I think it has significant consequences for his presidency. He's chosen the least uh, drastic of the military options that General Mattis, the Secretary of Defense, put before him, but he has acted. Without, without, uh, just I want to make sure our viewers understand that in answering this next question, I don't know where you stand on these attacks, you would be in no way endorsing the attacks of last night, but can you explain why so many people, not only in Washington and the foreign policy community, but across the world, were disheartened and concerned after Assad's first chemical weapon attack was met with no response? and what those fears, how those fears would have multiplied if they had not been answered this second time. Joe, I think we've had these last four years a lesson in what the credibility of American power is. When a president says, as Barack Obama did, that use of chemical weapons will cross a red line established by the United States and then doesn't take action to enforce the red line, air goes out of the balloon, and we watched that with, with President Obama. Uh, by at taking that action, uh, he, uh, Donald Trump has restored the credibility of American power. He now ha inherits nightmarish problems in Syria. Nobody should misunderstand how difficult this would be, but in terms of the credibility of American power, I think uh, most uh, traditional Washington commentators would say uh, he's put more, uh, more oomph, more believability back into it.